Amazon rainforest is suffering one of the worst droughts for decades. Dozens of riverboats lie stranded on the dried up banks. Communities are cut off because boats are unable to navigate the shrunken river. This barge with a car on board has been stuck on the sand for more than two months. Tens of thousands of Amazon fish are already dead. And many more face suffocation because of low oxygen levels in the water. Flocks of vultures gather to feed on the carcasses. The bodies of river dolphins are washed up on the shore. With no fish left to feed on, they too are victims of the relentless drought. Fisherman Raimundo Nonato and his family search for water which is safe to drink. He says the drought has made reaching neighboring communities difficult. Deforestation is responsible for a quarter of global greenhouse gases. Up to 75% of Brazilian emissions come from cutting down and burning the forest to make way for cattle ranching and soya plantations. Fewer trees mean less moisture rises into the air. This in turn reduces the clouds, which drop rain back into the forest. It's a vicious circle. And scientists say the drought in the Amazon has come much sooner than expected. The expectation was that, in a scenario of mudança global, the impacts on the ecosystem Amazonic would appear in the next few decades. This scenario actual, tragic and surprising, may be a small indicator of the way the Amazon is susceptible to global changes. In the case of the desmatamento, maintain the current taxes, and in the case of emissions of CO2, continue at the rhythm they are. A team from Greenpeace has been working in the drought-stricken areas of the Amazon. They've seen for themselves the effects of extreme weather. Campaigners say the only way to slow down climate change in the region is to stop further destruction of the Amazon forest. The rainfall production in the Amazon depends on the forest. Amazon deforestation and burnings reduce the formation of clouds and the rain in the region and are the major contribution of Brazil to the global warming. It's necessary to halt Amazon deforestation right now, but it's also very important that developed nations reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. If not, this drop uh, that affects dramatically the lives of uh, hundreds and of thousands of human beings here uh, will be the scenario you have more frequently in the future. Some scientists are linking climate change with the current severe dry spell in the Amazon. They say global warming will continue to reduce rainfall in the area. The twin threats of deforestation and greenhouse gases mean the Amazon may suffer more droughts in the future.